How can you start running YouTube ads to generate more leads and more sales for your business? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, showing you how to set up YouTube ads for your own business so that you can generate more customers on autopilot. Okay, so jumping right in, assuming you have a Google Ads account, this is what the dashboard that you're gonna be getting to looks like, right? So if you don't already have a Google Ad account, I have other videos on the channel that shows you how to create one, but once you have a Google Ad account created, you're gonna to wanna to come to this main dashboard right here and click on new campaign. Now, if you're setting up a Google ad account for the first time, it's gonna get you to try to create a smart or performance max campaign right off the bat. So wanna skip that, come right to here and go create new campaign. So from here, you're gonna to wanna to click on new campaign and then you're gonna to wanna to go to uh, selecting your objective, right? So if you are an e-commerce brand, you're trying to generate online sales, you're gonna to wanna to select sales. If you wanna generate leads for your business, then you're gonna to wanna to click on leads. Uh, now, if you also have an app, that might be something to consider, or you might have a local business and you can do local store visits and promotions. But in 99% of cases for businesses that I've worked with, you wanna have an objective and it's gonna be one of these two, sales or leads. And so for most businesses, um, let's just say that's leads um, if you're on an e-commerce brand. So I'm gonna go leads in this particular case, and then we're gonna go continue. And you're gonna wanna set up your conversion events, which again, I have other videos on the channel, but you're gonna to wanna to go and make sure that uh, if you generate a lead or you generate a sale, right, that gets tracked in Google Analytics and in Google Ads so that you can attribute that sale to your actual ad. So once you have that set up, click on leads. And then from here, this is where you can select your campaign type. And we're gonna select on video. So you can reach viewers on YouTube and get conversions, right? So I'm gonna click on uh, YouTube right here and then we're gonna go and, and uh, continue on to the next step. Okay, now from here, we can name our campaign. So uh, typically I just name this, what the kind of the campaign idea of our objective is. So I'm just gonna do leads and then just kind of our business name. That's very, very simple. Uh, you can also add in the countries there. So I'm gonna target all of Canada right here. So I'll add in Canada. Uh, so the next thing after you name your campaign, go to locations right here. And this is where you're gonna select your locations. now. Uh, if you want to target um, all countries and territories, you can do that. If you want to get like maximum views and you're not trying to get leads, but in general, you're going to want to probably target your country that you're operating in or uh, even a, a smaller local area. So you can do an advanced search right here and you can get more granular with this. So if you wanted to do, for example, really targeted here into Winnipeg, then you could do that as an example for a different city, right? Or New York, right? And so from here, you could also narrow down a little bit further as well. If you wanted to just target Albany, for example, you could go Al, right? And so you can include that and then you could actually remove New York and you could target just Albany right here, or you can do a radius as well. And so you can enter in your address and you could do a radius around your actual local shop if you're a local business as well. So let's just say we wanna target Albany, right? And I'm gonna go continue on right here. Languages are English, bid strategy, maximize conversions. That's what you always want to do to start off. Once you get some more data, then you can do a target cost per acquisition, um, but that's a little bit more advanced. So once you have some data and you know what your average cost per conversion is or what you're willing to pay for a conversion, then you can try to switch it over to CPA, see how that goes. But set up maximized conversions, have an idea of what budget you wanna spend on a daily basis and stick to that. So for this, all you really need is $5 a day. You can set a campaign total here if you only wanna run this as a one-off. I'm gonna set $5 a day here to start off and that's totally fine. It's gonna recommend me to spend more, but you don't need to. So $5 a day, we're gonna to go to networks right here. And then we have YouTube, as you can see here, you have Google TV. So it's a media streaming partner that allows users to stream TV shows and things like that. And this is not available because it's only available for video campaigns that optimize for reach. So something to consider, if you do wanna optimize for reach, you can now target Google TV as well. So we're gonna go YouTube and, and uh, video partners on Google's network, and that is good. And then from here, you can also have your product feed. So if you are an e-commerce site and you do have a merchant center, you can actually advertise your YouTube video and right below the YouTube video, you've probably seen these, you'll have your products listed there. So super helpful and an awesome ad platform and ad placement to use. So if you hooked up your merchant center, you can also use this and that will show your products under YouTube as well. So I have actually one set up right here. So I'll just for demonstration purposes, I'll link this and I'll show you what that looks like. You can also use some site links right here. So I have an about us. I have an FAQ, let's see, creative library. Sure, let's just use these four. Uh, ideally, you're gonna wanna have some other ones uh, than that, but uh, that's fine for now. So now we have our ad group here, and this is where we get into our audience targeting and everything like that. So I'm not gonna name this. I typically name this after. You can also do product filters. So if you wanna make your video ad about a specific product that you sell um, or a specific service, then you can narrow this down 
Um, this is obviously in the merchant center. So I can narrow this down to a specific product and I could run that ad. So I'm just gonna go all products in this case. And then we can go ahead and add in our audiences now. So we can create a new audience or we could do an existing audience. So I have an audience right here, remarketing, um, which is YouTube viewers, non-purchasers, and a few more. But you can also just go ahead and create an audience right here. And I'm gonna say YouTube cold targeting audience. Right. And so you're going to want to do a combination of your data and then interest as well. So for your data right here, if you go to website visitors, you're going to want to create some of these audiences right here. For example, I have, let's go recently active users and we can go ahead and use that one. Not any people in there, but that's fine. Euros will. And so for this as well, what we can do is you can target in market, right? It means people are in market to buy certain things, life events like business creation, home renovations, job change, detailed targeting. So you can do based on parental status or marital status, things like that. And then you could do affinity as well. So they have an affinity for these certain things right here. So uh, in this case, let's say you are a swimwear brand and you wanna target people that are interested in swimwear, right? What you can go to is target swim. Then you can go, you, if, if you sell children's swim gear or products like that, you can target that. Um, what you can go is, let's go down here. Let's see if they have bathing suits. So for swim, let's just say the best one that we can target right here is swimming enthusiasts, right? And that's an affinity right there. You can also go here and go to in market and see what else that is applicable here. Let's say I don't want to do that, but I want to open this up. You can actually go right here to apparel and accessories, and you can see what types of apparel and accessory options that there are. So right here, actually there's swimwear. Awesome. That's what I was looking for. So in market, we can target swimwear and that's going to be the best audience to target, obviously, because these people are in the market to purchase swimwear, right? And so you can target just this audience and that's obviously gonna give you more than enough people to reach. And if with optimized targeting, it will actually reach people other than the best performing for your goal. And I would recommend turning that off. So let's just say we wanna do this, YouTube swimwear audience, okay? So we're gonna go save on that, awesome. And now I'm gonna turn off optimized targeting. This essentially expands your audience so that Google's AI will just do whatever it wants, reach people that you didn't necessarily select and wanna target. and not always the best for campaign performance there. So deselect that and we are gonna run without that. And now we're good to go. So uh, sometimes this is good to turn on if you don't care as much about that or your audience is quite general. Um, but this is obviously really targeted and swimwear is what we wanna reach. And there's so many people in there, you don't need to actually do that. So there's a couple other best practices right here. You wanna use custom segments and your data. So uh, again, I didn't have any users in this, but definitely wanna include your data there like website visitors, purchasers, things like that. And then lastly, all we need to do now is upload five YouTube videos that are more than 10 seconds and shorter than three minutes uh, to create our ads right here. And so if I actually go to my YouTube, right, I can go to my YouTube right here and I can grab any one of these videos right here and I can grab the link and I can go ahead and use that as a YouTube ad. So let's say I want to use this video right here, how I grew my Shopify store to 85,000. I'm gonna copy that link address, come back to here, paste that in, and boom, we can go ahead and use this as a YouTube ad. You can see exactly what that looks like. And my products would actually show right here below it um, with my Merchant Center products if I wanted to do that. And then you can go ahead and add in your URL. So go ahead and add in my business URL, okay? And then you can add in a call to action. So I'm just gonna go learn more. And then you can add in various headlines. So I'm just gonna add all these in right here. Growth map, right? Online appointments available. Go digital advertising agency. And that's good. Okay, we can add in a long headline. I'm just gonna add all these in here just to make this quick, right? But you wanna make sure that you can add in all these, you know, different descriptions based on your business and just give it as much variety as possible. Just stack these up as much as you can. Um, the more, the better. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to do this just to get some variation in there. So uh, there we go. You can add in one more of each. So for this, I'm just gonna say jet to better ad results. And then I'll just do this one as well. And then you're gonna to wanna to name this after the actual YouTube video that you use right here. And you can actually add up to five videos as well. So if you wanna add in like what this campaign's about, like if I just wanna make this like swimwear YouTube ad campaign or like swimwear ads, right? And you can do that. And you can grab a whole variation of different videos that you wanna actually use right here. So if I copy this as well, again, add this in, boom, now we have two videos and it will iterate and display both of these videos. And it's gonna find the one that optimally gets the most conversions. So you're gonna have a YouTube studio account and YouTube studio allows you to obviously upload all of your YouTube videos and things like that. So this is my backend right here. And if you wanna run an ad, but you don't wanna post that onto your public channel, right? And so for everybody to view it, but you wanna run it as an ad, you design it specifically for an ad and it's not a video to upload on your channel. That's where unlisted videos come in. So if I go to my content right here, 
you'll see I have a bunch of videos right here uh, and all of them are public right now. Let's see if I have any unlisted ones. Okay, so right here, as you can see, this is an unlisted video. This is a video of like my intro. It's not really meant to be an ad, but if I wanted to use this, say this is your ad, what you'd wanna do is upload your video to YouTube like this, right? And then you wanna grab this link right here. So if I open this up, right, it's unlisted. I can grab this video link right here and I can upload this to run as a YouTube ad, even though it is not listed on my actual YouTube channel, right? So that's a great way to run ads when you don't actually have uh, the video on the channel that you actually, you know, an, a specific ad that you wanna upload, but you don't wanna put it on your YouTube channel. And so again, if you wanted to do that, you'd go to create right here, you'd upload your video, upload your ad like normal, create the description, everything like that, upload it, market is unlisted, grab the link, come over to here, paste that in, and you can run that as an ad. So that is super quick and simple how to set up a YouTube ad, right? And then you can go ahead and create that campaign. It wants me to change this one out. So let me just delete that. I'm gonna go ahead and create this campaign now. Okay, giving me an overview right here of what the ad actually looks like. Audience, keywords, if I wanted to add in any keywords related to swimwear, you can do that as well in the audience selection there. Any topics or placements as well, you can change that up. So there you go, that is how to set up a YouTube ad campaign. Super simple, super quick, and hopefully you got a lot of value from that. Let me know how it goes setting up that campaign, and if you did have any issues, let me know in the comments, and I'm happy to help assist on how to actually create that campaign and do some more detail in terms of actually the audience targeting and how to get the best results from your YouTube ad campaign. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, it helps the channel grow, and until the next one, hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See ya.